Just got out of work, about to head to the gym. Yeah, I'm back at the gym. I'm waiting for my big brother to come through. Omar, I know Omar. I've seen him before, right? Here he is. He's on one of my viral videos. Uh, you ready? You ready? Always ready. You ready? What are we doing today? Chess day, baby. Chess day? Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Ten, 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 ten is you. Hey, baby. I'm gonna run you. cameraman but I guess he likes it I hope this is a warm up to 60 lucky you like I'm even holding your phone come on put your shit together come on. Uh, kick up that's a bad kick throw that I got that. definitely recorded that one. <laughs> Two. This guy is gonna kick you up. What not to do? Yeah, that was, uh, that was on purpose. You have no lines in this. Just kick your goddamn weights. All right. Uh, you got it. Thank you. I would like to say I got high out for working out, but it's just my filthy sweat got into my eyes. So this guy is on my ass for recording, saying, oh, I'm wasting time recording blahzy blah instead of working out. But he's been on the phone for literally 40 minutes. Not exaggerating at all. 40 minutes. So most people when they work out they like to think about their ambitions, their goals, their dreams. Me on the other hand, I think of things like is Jennifer Lawrence an actual clone of this Egyptian actress? Or that President Biden is actually a lizard man? Or that the reason that aliens are so interested in anal probing human beings is because they're so fascinated with human feces because they themselves do not defecate? Things like that. My brother on the other hand, I'm not really sure what he thinks about, but if I was to guess, he's probably thinking about why are there so many black people in the gym? Because he's a huge racist. I'm just kidding. We're doing fake weights. Trying to see if anybody would notice his fake. Yeah, that's a good actor. I'm a dick. You're a dick. Yeah. Nobody yet. Nobody has realized it's fake. Yeah, man. Look at it. <laughs> we just left the gym and I'm feeling good, baby. Feeling really good. I think my face says it all. Truly, I ain't got no hey, so I wasn't sure where I was going with this video, but the whole point of this video was me announcing again that I'm making videos again. Maybe like once a week or once every two weeks and once every six months, whatever it is. Uh, as long as I make videos again. And that's the point, that I'm still alive, I'm still here, guys, and I'm doing it. Yippee! But I am extremely annoyed, I'm always annoyed, that's why I'm ending this video with something that annoys the heck out of me. Even though I'm very reluctant to talk about it because I feel like not a lot of people talk about it for a good reason, and I believe that reason is that they're scared to get shot in the face by the NSA. So you gotta understand why I'm very reluctant to not talk about this, but I'm feeling brave today because I have my Omega 3, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. I'm talking about tolls. Why do they exist? And don't give me that crap about maintaining the road and paying the, you know, the construction workers. We need funding to pay them and shit. What's going on with our tax money? 
Huh? Answer me that. Billions of dollars being used to fund the military to create massive weapon of destruction so it can be given away to terrorist state like Israel. I don't get it. Okay, if that's not a good example of our tax money and all these fees that we're paying in our great country of ours, how about the freaking meter parking? All right, billions of dollars a year. And I'm assuming that's how much they get because there's so many of us in this country and there's so many meter parkings. I mean, you know, billions of dollars a year. Where's going on with that? All right, money is being made. This country has a whole lot of it, I'm pretty sure. Why the hell do we need tolls? You know how tolls started? Here we go. Here, let me give you a little story. Once upon a time, centuries ago, maybe hundreds of thousands of years ago, I'm not really sure exactly, I'm not a historian, uh, thousands of years ago, criminals decided to stop people in the road and force them to pay a fee if they want to continue their journey to Lollida land. And the government of whatever empire existed back then saw that and said, hey, that's a great idea. Let's lock these criminals up and maybe even behead them in front of our citizens so we can make an example out of them and then take their business over. It's a criminal organization. Tolls is a criminal system that exists to this day, is used on the citizens. If you want a faster way to get to your destination, you just have to pay a little fee. What kind of bullshit is that? Do you have to pay a fee to cross the border in your own country? I'm not talking about a border to a different country. A border within your own country? That is ridiculous. That's why you don't find it in any other country that has actual integrity and respect for their citizens. Only in the United States of America is such a great country, which I believe it is. I just believe it's run by corrupt, thieving pieces of shit. And like I said before, I am scared of getting shot in the face, so please don't shoot me. I just feel like I need to express this before I explode emotionally. Um, and I'm not Cal Williams, so Illuminati, please don't be offended by me. I'm nobody. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for listening.